Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today I'm going to look at the Tiger 1, the tier 7 German heavy tank that has recently been given a slight buff. In fact, I used to love the Tiger P, I used to think the Tiger P was much better than the Tiger 1. However, my thought processes are changing recently because this one's been tinkered with. So, let's have a look at it. It's got fantastic HP, best in class, best in tier. It's got an okay view range, but look at this DPM, it's not too bad. It's pretty average, I agree, but penetration wise, wow. Damage, okay, pretty average. But look at this. Velocity is off the charts and penetration loss over distance is pretty low. Rate of fire and reload time is fantastic. Okay, aim time is a bit long, but it doesn't really matter. Gun angles, it's got pants depression, but 7 degrees is okay. And speed for a lumbering heavy is really, really good. Wargaming recommend long range sniping and brawling as average, and everything else is not recommended, and it's apparently not good in anything. This is what its armour now looks like. And as you can see, I mean, the front plate is a little bit stronger, and so is the gun mantle. They haven't really tinkered that much with it, they just made it slightly better. When you stick it against another Tiger One, however, as you can see, it can pen almost everywhere. It, it's a tricky tank still to play, it's challenging, but you know what? I've been rolling out on it recently and I'm liking it more than the Tiger P. This is it in Blitzstars in tank compare against all the other tanks and as you can see already, apart from the Black Prince, DPM for this thing is off the charts. It is fantastic. It's the same as the Tiger P. Same penetration as the Tiger P, same rate of alpha as the Tiger P, and the same rate of fire, reload, etc. Et it's the same bloody gun. But compared to all the other tanks, wow. I mean, this thing is now a diamond in the rough. I, I mean, like I said, I've been playing it recently, and you know what? It's vastly improved. Aim time, okay, it's lower than the Black Prince and it's lower than the AMX, but it's still pretty good. I mean, it's tangible, it's not that low. Speed-wise, wow, it's off the charts. Look at that, I mean, it's really good. Credit coefficient, pretty average. Win rate, it's lower than the Tiger P, however, which surprised me, to be perfectly honest with you, but it's only just lower. So what is this beastie now like to drive? Well, in a word, Brilliant. If you haven't been out in the Tiger 1 recently, then my advice is fire up the engines and get out in it because this is not the Tiger 1 that it used to be. This is a vastly improved version. In fact, I would argue now that this is better than the Tiger P. I really would. Hey, and hey, I love the Tiger P. I think the Tiger P is a fantastic tank. And I used to prefer the Tiger P over this thing. However, like I said, my thought process is slightly changing. I am loving the Tiger 1 at the moment. Really, like I said, if you've not been out with in it recently, get out in it, guys, because this is not the tank that you think it used to be. Now, I know the buff came a while ago, and it's taken me a while to get around to looking at it, because, well, I have other things to do. And you know what? I'm glad it took me some time, because now I'm loving it more than I had the buff had I gone out straight away, because now I can really see the difference. This thing is a beast in its tier nowadays. And, you know, I mean, there's not much you can do wrong in this thing. I mean, look at this gun. Okay, the aim time is a bit long, but Boy, it's not that long, and it's certainly nothing that's going to cause anybody a trauma. Penetration-wise, I mean, it'll go through anything. It's like a hot knife through mounted butter, let's be honest. I mean, okay, I bounced, what, a couple of shots here? Not much. Yeah, and I'm getting smacked from behind. But I don't care, because now I've got some more hit points. What's it matter? I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. And... I've rolled out in it a fair few times now, and you know what? It's it's pretty rare for you to do less than 1500 damage in this thing, and that's even on a bad day. I mean, look at this, I've done four kills, 1500 damage, I'm, I'm on for kill number five, I'm going to get just over 1600 damage, 
that's not a great game in this thing to be honest with you but you know what I had fun doing it and hey I only get a second class but I'm one of those stranger guys that really likes getting a second class so I rolled out again in the same tank immediately after this game and as you can see if you have a look at the timestamp on this game this was early this morning and the next game was straight afterwards so here we are on Copperfield and yeah I'm in a I'm in a tier 7 tier 6 game and I don't like Copperfield at the best times I think the map is very constrictive very small and you know you just can't get to grips with it in a big lumbering heavy but you know what if you know the map then you can real you can really be a pain in the backside so we've got three tanks up here and that poor VK bless him he's gonna he's gonna bounce me a fair few times and I know there's an IS2 rolling that way but I'm not too worried about him because he's not he hasn't got the gun depression and he can't turn his gun on to me unless he gets around the back of me the SU bless him I don't know what he's doing I think he's waiting for a load and he wants to smack me or that he wants to smack the KB2 either way he's gonna get deleted uh, and there he goes the IS-2, I can see him pushing around. He's trying to get round the back there to get that tank that's up on the hill, but he's not going to do it. I'm trying to give the VK a hard time. And you know, I mean, I'm loving the tank. Big bounce coming. Boom, there you go. And I'm loving the tank. I'm loving its maneuverability. I'm loving its load time. I'm loving its gun. I'm loving everything about the Tiger 1. And I'm loving the fact that you can now do things with this thing that previously you couldn't do for you know it was a lumbering hunk it didn't have the hit points it, it didn't it didn't have what the tiger p had there was something missing and now everything clicks everything is back to how it should be i mean don't forget this was the most feared tank in world war ii and it's been a bit of a damp squib um, in wargaming terms and blitz to be honest with you it's not been a favorite which is a shame for a truly historical tank so here we go we've done what 2275 damage we've taken three kills and now it's a two on one scenario but you know what the tiger one can handle a two on one scenario nowadays despite wargaming telling you not to brawl in it because this thing can brawl you get the angles right and you get the gameplay right and make the right decisions this thing will easily handle this brawl scenario that it's about to come up against now i'm not going to focus on the m4 there's no point i want that sentinel gone and out the way because he can be a pain in the backside he's got good speed a fast reload and a tricky little gun so if i can take him out that will give me time to focus on the M4, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now the M4, bless him, he's trying to fire on the move. It's not exactly the most accurate. Now he's going to get up close and personal and he's going to track himself. He could have done without that. And look at this, I'm going to bounce now. I've done over 3000 damage. And I'm just going to keep putting that front in front of him, trying to get those bounces, trying to get up close, trying to get him to hit my mantle and nothing else. And it's kind of working and yeah there we go so i bounced 1100 i knocked out 3642 i took five kills i've got half my hit points left and i love the tiger one and guess what i tried hard to be fair i even put a request on my dis on on, on youtube on discord and i got the mastery yeehaw and you know what it's, it's really rare for me to actually get a mastery in a tank that i'm actually trying that, that I've lined up to do a video on and I normally have to rely on others because I go out and I would try hard trying to get the mastery and it never bloody works especially when I only play encounter not supremacy anyway I have been Fujit that has been the vastly improved Tiger 1 seriously guys if you've not rolled out in it recently fire up that Maybach engine and get out there it is an amazing tank I love it I've now, I'm now torn between a Tiger P and a Tiger 1, which is really annoying because I love the Tiger P too. Anyway, by all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a beautiful thing to do. It costs you nothing, puts a smile on my face, makes everybody happy. Trust me, it'll make you happy too. If you've got any decent replays, send them across to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or upload them to my Discord server. 
As always, I wanted to give a big shout out to my Patreons, who without their continued support, videos like this would be a lot harder, funnily enough. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.